Welcome back, everyone. So you can see right here that uh, I've made a few small changes to my website. I've been messing around with the color themes. I got some development I want to do on my website as I've been learning a little bit more about front-end development at work. And I actually want to apply some of this stuff to my website. It's a perfect pet project to help me learn some of the things that I have to learn for my work. And uh, a go good way of like cementing that knowledge in my head is just working on something I you know, care about more, which is my own website. Uh, but one thing I found recently on a Reddit post uh, in one of my feeds is this cool idea of a business card, but in the terminal. Everything's in the terminal, obviously. So I found a really cool way of doing this. It's, you used some elements that I've already done before, such as um, the like text blocks where you cat or like a certain block of text like you would do for you know the help command for some of your scripts. Um, and also like ANSI escape codes for colorizing output in the terminal and just a few other things like that. So I found this template and then I modified the crap out of it for my own you know, personal information. But on my website, you can see I have a new section down here for my curlable business card. So basically you're using the curl command which pulls you know some website or something into your terminal. If I did my website homepage, you know, just my name, XYZ. If I did that and um, curled it, it will just give me the HTML output from my website. This curl command is how I get my YouTube subscribers. I curl it out, I use grep to pull out the line with subscribers, and I use awk to cut out the specific number that I want out of all of that text. But curl can pull down a file such as a script from GitHub which is what I did. I have a short bit.ly link here so that it's not quite as long of a URL, but in the script itself, it'll also tell you what that URL is. S is the flag for silent and then L, I forget exactly what L was for, but um, it is necessary. And then if I just copy that and run it this way, because you don't wanna just immediately curl something and then pipe it into your shell, because obviously that would be a security hazard. But you know, if it's a link you trust, it's probably fine. But at this, at this point, if I curl that, I'll just get a bunch of text like this that just renders just as it is. This is the actual script text from, the, from GitHub. So if I take that text and I pipe it into SH, I have a colorized business card, which you can get in your terminal. It has links to social media, uh, my contact details. And so uh, I just think that Ultimately, I don't really see this becoming very popular just because people don't want to curl something and pipe it into their shell because that's just asking for security trouble. <laughs> but uh, I've heard, I did see in the in the thread that there was like mentions of ways of securing potential risks with doing something like this. I just don't know what they are, to be honest. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I just think it would be really cool, if, like the people who use the shell as much as people who probably watch this channel and Luke's channel, Brody's channel, etc that people who use the shell that much uh, probably would be interested in having like, hey, you can curl my business card if you want it. You can curl it this link and here's the link to it. It's on my website if you want it. Uh, I just think that'd be a really cool thing. Just like, hey, here's my digital business card. So as for like the script itself, uh, let me get to that. So I, this is, I just left this comment in just because this is what was in the original file. I just didn't want to like remove all credit because I didn't make this myself from scratch. But this is the link and actually where this link is going to. It's going to my uh, business card repo, the master branch, the business card script. It's just pulling down that text. It's a bash script. And I didn't need a lot of these variables. I commented them out just in case I ever do want them. But uh, this whole script passes uh, shell check for bash. And yeah, so we got colors and then a bunch of text output. And then it's basically using the exact same stuff, um, ANSI escape codes. Actually, this isn't actually isn't ANSI escape codes. I don't really know why this is. I need to look more into the tput command and what all this is. I think uh, set A is foreground and A, B is background. But yeah, I don't really know too much about t this tput stuff. Maybe this is a better option than using the ANSI escape codes that I used in my flash script, which is what I did for my colorized output. But it's basically the same thing. Like if I did, um, you know, I have this thing that pulls down my 255 colors, but this is like my terminal colors for my Grubbox theme. So if I did like, you know, NeoFetch, 
it would say like here's my color theme and so these colors being pulled are really just from your built-in color theme and so with this you could easily just escape certain parts of it and then you know it kind of overflows a bit but yeah it displays nice uh, i have a business card in my terminal i think the output looks pretty cool and if you want to see my business card you can do the same thing check the output first and then you can pipe it for prettiness into the shell so I've been working on the website. I got that added on. I'm going to be doing some more front end changes, most likely to the home page specifically. Um, I haven't done too much with the leatherworking page, which um, I'll probably have more links to like the actual YouTube channel and the business, etc. But on my consulting page, I haven't done anything with there either. I might get something up there. Who knows? Uh, blog hasn't changed too much, I don't think. Oh, I did change the color of this output, and I got some new. Uh, command so that I can actually take instead of just making you know default code theme which I've done like here instead of just doing this and making it all monocolored I added some uh, actual span elements with Grubbox theme colors so I can actually colorize the code as it would appear to me in uh, my own editors for my blog posts so if you're actually reading this on my site you can actually see colorized output now and I'll be doing that whenever I post anymore and uh, fix that blog index that hasn't changed at all yeah I'm just gonna be working on the front end page I'm gonna change some things um, I just don't really care for the layout anymore I did like the new darker colors I've changed them to I would change a little bit of this of the SAS code to work with darker backgrounds and then I have some more links on here I'm gonna add some things for like the cryptocurrencies I'm accepting I have my account on library and so I can accept LBC if you want to donate LBC to me um, and I also am using the Brave browser now for that delicious bat token. So, yeah, that is uh, all I have updated for this for now. Um, I will likely have more videos up in the future. I'm kind of backlogged at the moment. Uh, I have a pending request to do a review on the Vimtech plugin for LaTeX comp compilation. But yeah, I just got a lot of things I want to do, and I just need a little bit more time to organize them. It's kind of hard to schedule like five videos at once and then have something going on every day but um live stream will still be going 6 30 p.m on thursday and uh some cool things in the works so i hope you guys stay tuned um, please subscribe and leave a comment let me know what you think about the channel what's going on so far and um yeah and then big shout out to my uh, patron devin who's the very first patron for this channel uh, thank you for your support, and hopefully many other people join you. All right. Thank you for watching.